there's more to AutoCAD than just drawings, whether or not they're in paper or digital form. AutoCAD can also create simple animations. That's right, you can make movies with AutoCAD. This section will give you a very brief overview of that process. Now, AutoCAD can't do real big, fancy, special effect, blockbuster movie type animations. All they can really do is take a model, a 3D model, and with one camera, take a look at it. Move it around and just see what's there. But many times it's adequate and it does exactly what you need to present your concept, your design, your product to a potential client, some sort of municipality board that needs to see the animation, or many different school projects, etc. So the first thing you need to make your animation is a 3D model. So let's open up the 3D rendering drawing. That's a little bit larger file, so it might take you a while. And if your computer is a little bit older or not real advanced, it may take it a while to process it. And it may move a little slow, but that's okay. Now this is a model of a house on a street. AutoCAD can't make your models or objects move, as I said earlier, but what it can do is move through your model. So think of it as a camera that's on a stand that's wheeling around, moving around, and it's taking different views, going around a different path, looking at what you have here. In fact, that's exactly what you do. So what we need to do is tell the camera where to go, and then tell the camera where to look at. Let's keep this simple and just go around the house. So what you need to do is to draw a pathway around the house, and you can just create a simple polyline. You can use just a line, an arc, a polyline, a spline, any of those, typically a polyline will be fine. Start the polyline command and press enter. So just pick one point somewhere and draw it around the house. Now don't close it. So that's our pathway. And it doesn't really matter what layer you're on. The object is going to be in your file. But when you pick it to be your pathway, AutoCAD won't render it. It won't show that line. Now, the other thing you're going to need is a pathway for the camera to follow. You can use the same pathway, or you can draw a new line. Right now, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So let's start our animation. Well, you have to type in the command, Anipath. A-N-I-P-A-T-H. Or... If you turn on the render tab and go to it, I believe that's where it is found. Right here, animation motion path or anapath. Click it. That gives you this dialog box. Now you have a few choices here to make. Now your camera path can be just a fixed point or it can be a path. If it's a fixed point, then you're going to want your target probably to be a path. The target is where your camera is going to be looking at when it records. The camera is where the camera is at. The target is where the camera is looking. So we're going to pick just a fixed point right now for the camera, and we're going to select it. So pick this box, find whatever point you want it to be. If it's right in the middle of the house, somewhere outside, we'll uh, pick right here for now. And you can give it a name. I'm just going to leave it as point 0.1, and it displays the coordinates. Now for the target, I'm going to pick a path. If you pick a point for the camera, you have to pick a path for the target. Otherwise, it's going to be a still shot, and that's a very boring type of an animation to have. So let's pick the path. So we select this selection box, and we're going to pick our polyline right here. And we'll just keep it called path 1. Now we have other settings here. Now that we've defined where our camera is going to be, it's going to stand right here. And then it, when it starts, it's going to look here, and it's going to sort of pan around in that direction. So what it's going to look like is it's going to stare off into this road, into nothingness, and then we're going to turn our view. It's going to turn, and then we're going to see the side of the house, look at it real close, and then come and get this view here. So now you have some animation settings. Frames per second, number of frames, and the duration of the video. So the video right now, as it stands, if we hit OK, it would last for one second. It would be one second long. So it's going to look here, and it's going to spin all the way around and take one second. And it's going to do all of that in 30 frames. And typically, you can record things around 30 frames is pretty good. The more frames you have, 
typically the more pictures it has to take, so the larger the file is going to be. And of course, the same thing, the longer it is in time, you know, it takes longer, the more pictures you're going to need for frames, so the larger the file is going to be. So keep all of that in mind. So if we up this to two, or to three, the number of frames gets higher. So now it's at 90. Now we can reduce this to about 15. Now how many frames do you need per second? Well, I'm currently recording this video at 15 frames per second, so that might give you a bit of an idea. So I'll make my AutoCAD animations anywhere between 15 and 30. If I need a smaller file, I'll reduce it down to 15, but if I need higher quality, I'll bump it up to about 30. But that's the range. 15 will usually do what you need it to do. Now you can pick your different visual styles, you know, whatever is displayed. You can have it to be rendered. You can go into a, a 3D hidden line type, a 3D wireframe, etc. I'm going to put it at a hidden line type right now. So you have a few more options here. You can save the file into an AVI, MPG, or a WMV file. It just depends on what you need to create. Now the resolution will be the size in pixels of the images. You can go with a 1024 by 768. Of course, the larger the resolution, the larger the file is going to be. So keep the file size in mind when you pick the resolution. Are you going to email a short video? Then reduce the frame rate and the number of frames as much as possible and the resolution size. Are they going to view it on a phone, on a big screen? What are you going to do? So keep all those things in mind. Now when you think you have everything set up the way you want it, hit your preview button. And this will give you a look of what it's going to look like once it's finished. Not very exciting, is it? We may need to make some changes. So this is what I think we need to do. We're going to cancel out of all of this. And we need to change the elevation of the pathway, because this is where the camera is. And right now it's at an elevation of zero. Well, this is a 3D file. It's not a flat 2D drawing. If we zoom up, kind of get a better look of what it looks like. This building is about three stories tall, has stairs coming up the side, and front garage doors, little decks, you know. So this pathway, to get a better look of the house, needs to be higher. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to change my elevation. I'm going to say 10. Now, does that look any better? Well, it depends on what your units are. So let's check out our units. We're in feet. So this should be 10 feet high. And you can see where I've selected, it's a little bit higher now. So I think that's probably going to be okay. I'm going to switch it to 15. All right, I'm going to go get my view back to top so I can see it a little better. And go back to my animation motion path or anipath, A-N-I-P-A-T-H. So I'm going to pick a path this time for the camera. It's going to be right here. I'm going to pick a point, and I want that point just to be the center of the house, because that's where I want to look at. I'll keep everything else about the same, and I'm going to give it a quick preview here. Okay, so that's better. I'm getting a better view of the house now. But I still need to be higher. So there's a lot of back and forth that's going to go on with your pathway and with the rest of your animation. So let's go to a view. You can see here my pathway it did not go up where I wanted it to. So if I select it now, and what I did was I changed the wrong thing. That'll happen. That's my segment width on the end. Now I want my elevation to be up at 10. There we go. And if you're making 3D views, Make sure you use all three dimensions when you're working with it, because then it will be easier to create what you need. So let's try it out now. I'm going to pick my path. Just path one, and my target point is going to be at the center of my building. And now let's give it a quick preview. All right, that's a little bit different. Hit cancel here. I'm going to go back up to my top view. 
because it's easier to select the path and your target point that way. My target point was way off there because I was picking it in 3D. Now I was going to edit this down and do it correctly the way I anticipated to, but I wanted to show you the process and to let you know that there's a lot of back and forth on this, even for a very simple animation. And I don't mind admitting that I made mistakes. So now we're going to pick our point after we've picked our path. I'm going to pick it right here, right in the middle of the house. Hit the preview button, and let's see what it's going to look like. Now we get to go all the way around the house and see a bit of the road. That's a little better. So now it's not exactly what I want, but we need to move on. So once you've set everything up the way you want it to be, and you can even take more time or less time, you've hit your preview, you've hit your format, etc. I'm going to go with realistic, and then you hit OK. Now you have to save the file, of course. We always have to save our files, but that's OK because we don't want to lose them. I'm going to call this WMV1 and hit save. And now it goes through the process. As you can see here, it says creating video, and it's rendering each frame one at a time, and it will give you an idea of how long it's going to take. This is not a very complicated rendering. It's not a photorealistic rendering. Materials aren't applied to it, so it'll go a little bit more quickly. But that's okay. You can render some beautiful things with AutoCAD with a fantastic model. Once your file is saved and created, you can open it up and run it and view it, send it to your friends, your colleagues, put it on the internet and do what you need. Now you have unique and very visual way to present your drawings or your model.